and all my beautiful viewers on Facebook and YouTube. Right, what I've got for you today is I would like to ask any of my 60 subscribers or anyone on Facebook uh, if they would like to uh, help me, to be honest with you. What it is basically is that uh, I'm at a loss for my series, um, James Higgins' Mysterious Universe Episode 5. So basically, I need some need some stories, if you've got any, about aliens, about UFO sightings, about angels, ghosts, anything paranormal, really, you know. Uh, and if you send it to my email address, my email address, which will be in the comment section, but I will tell you now, in the comment section of the, below this video, it's formchester69 at hotmail.com formchester69 at hotmail.com I'll take you again slowly formchester69 at hotmail.com right uh, it will be in the, the comment section below as well if we didn't quite get that <coughs> so if you've got any stories uh, and if you could print them uh, and send them in to, to that email address and if you're lucky we, you will appear on my chat, uh, the stories will appear on episode five of James Higgins' Mysterious Universe. Uh, so, any stories, ghosts, aliens, uh, strange lights in the sky, uh, any other stories, uh, mysterious, uh, dis mysterious disappearing hitchhikers, you get in your car and then disappear, for, for no, you know, ghosts, anything like that, please uh, send them in and so that email address, formchester69 at hotmail.com. Uh, we'll get enough that you will, you will help me to get episode 5 up and running of James Higgins' Mysterious Universe. Anyway, thank you very much for that. The email will be at the bottom uh, in the comment section. But what I thought I'd do now is I will read you one of my own poems. Because I have a poet, poetry group on Facebook with uh, it's called the James Higg James and Jill Poetry Group on Facebook. So if you like poetry, listen to this. I wrote this uh, a long time ago, and it's appeared just appeared in uh, a local magazine uh, uh, locally, uh, Saint Charge Over Parish Magazines. It's just appeared in there with two of us from Jill. But I will read you mine. Here we go. It's called The Season's Moods. It appeared in the Mental Health Magazine for the Richmond Fellowship uh, many years ago. Right, here we go. You ready? Listen. Right. Spring bulbs blooms into a bed of daffodils and bluebells. Summer is a time when the flowers are like a rainbow of colour in the fields and hedgerows and gardens all over the country. Autumn is a time when the foliage begins to turn and the woods are a firestorm of golden red. And the swallows begin to fly south to their African feeding grounds. Then comes winter with its icy grip, holding all the nourishment in the soil until spring blooms again the following year by Mr. James L. Higgins. There you go. Check that out. That is, so if you like that and you'd like to hear more, please go on to my... Uh, Mine and Jill's poetry page on Facebook. The James and Jill Poetry Group on Facebook. And you'll find many more. Many love stories as well. And there's a, a, mini, a mini love story. It's not quite finished yet. I'm currently writing about time travel. Set locally. So, a bit of mystery there. So, uh, I would like to thank you for listening to me tonight. Uh, I'm just about to do another drinks with you after this as well. Uh, so, uh, so if you like if you like my channel, please subscribe. The button's down there. And if you can help, the email address I will say for one last time is uh, formchester69 at hotmail.com. Thank you very much. Bye.